it's not the right blend anymore. It's gonna take us six years to get out of freaking Ogden. It always does though. We were said we, we said we were gonna leave at eight and it's now like probably nine or something. We're in St. George. I use that fuel injection system cleaner that's supposed to, be, supposedly to boost your miles per gallon. And this car is supposed to average about 27 or 30, and and we averaged about 17 the whole way here. So I figured it probably needed some new spark plugs or something. So we we put some of those in, and we're going to see how our gas mileage goes to Vegas. But as of right now, we've only really got about 17 miles a gallon in a car that's supposed to get 30. <laughs> so the cost of our trip has now just doubled. Viva Las Vegas. I love Vegas. There's a big, this thing's in your face. Oh, it's the mirror. It's this. I can't see your face. Oh, no. No, I can see it. Well, I don't know. Nope, love... I can't really see you, but. Oh. It's okay. You get the point. I hate Las Vegas. So, what are we going to do? Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to pay for some gas. And then we're going to calculate to see what our gas mileage is now because we were getting 17 miles per gallon but then we changed the spark plugs and we'll see what we get now. Divided by 20 still. Yeah, that's what's better than 17. I ran away in floods of shame I'll never tell how close I came As I crossed the Holland Road So they're just staying here at the Quality Inn Their bacon's like... This bagel's like 20 days old But other than that, what would you give it, Mork? Um... We stayed in Worms? Yeah I give them a C for trying. <laughs> I brought this apple. This is not their apple. And it's a really good apple. Well, you went left and I went right As the moon hung proud and bright You would have loved it here tonight Spin me around just to pin me down On the cover of this strange ground. Okay, so we just got to the beach that we are filming um, the wedding video at. It's pretty cool. It's so cool. So we're really excited. We showed up a little early. We're just gonna go get some macro shots and some b-roll and then we'll be back in a couple hours to film the couple. Let me tell you what. It is pretty freaking neat. So this has been a pretty stressful California trip. Just a lot of craziness has been going on. This just arrived. Yep, right here. But we can't keep it. Sad. Here's what happened. Zed, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Medicine go down. So we went all day at the beach, no problems, got super cool drone shots. Keep in mind that we literally were flying over the ocean and had no problems. Just a spoonful.
full of sugar helps the medicine go down. We get back to the hotel and we realize how fun flying a drone is, so we can't help ourselves and we go into the courtyard of the hotel to fly for just like 10 more minutes. In a most delightful way. Well, we literally have the drone in the air for like 30 seconds and something in it malfunctions and it won't stop and it goes and it slams into the side of the hotel, drops from like two stories, slams onto the concrete and is just busted. So now me and Jake are like, well crap, this isn't even our drone. We actually borrowed it from a friend. So we are scrambling in California to figure out how we can get this drone to work in time to take it back to his friend. So Jake finds a guy named Ed who lives in Hollywood and apparently he solders computers and says that he can fix it for us. So we drive to Hollywood the next morning and there is a sign on the door that says the massage parlor there is now closed. So that's a good sign. That's not sketchy at all. So we sit and we wait in his apartment and he goes in the back and, and it still won't work. We leave Ed's house, we give him a $20 tip for trying and we find a drone store that's open that day and we drive there and we buy a brand new camera because we think that's what's wrong with it. We plug the new camera in, still broke. So we came to the consensus that we had to send the drone in to the repair place and then they would fix it and send it back to us. But then that left us with the problem of what to do about his friend. So what happened is we ended up having to buy a brand new drone off of Amazon for his friend and it came in the mail and we didn't get to keep it and it was really sad and so the moral of this story is don't borrow stuff if you need something just buy it yourself or don't use it because it always ends up bad so basically here's what's going on Morgan's driving this car in front of me Hi. and I'm back in here and we're in LA right now trying to get out of this freaking place. Traffic galore. But we're trying to go home back to Ogden. We just want to go home. It's been a rough California trip. Very expensive. Hey Morg, speed up a little bit let me get in behind you. Me and Morgan are playing like Fast and the Furious right now and I probably shouldn't be filming and driving but you know when in Rome. I don't know about you guys but driving in LA is just a nightmare. There are so many freaking cars and it's like where are they all going? It's nine o'clock at night where are you all going okay maybe it's not nine it's six it's, it's, only six. it's six o'clock so it is rush hour but all right everybody i don't know if you remember but earlier i was complaining that my car was only getting like 16 miles a gallon just did the math, that's what we averaged there. Replace your spark plugs. I don't know when the last time these were replaced, probably 150,000 miles ago. <laughs> Put new spark plugs in it and we went from 17 miles a gallon to 27 miles a gallon. I had no misfires, I had nothing like that, but the spark plugs were obviously not working correctly. Spark plugs. Do yourself some good. <laughs> 